I met a really interesting couple this morning. The old saying, absence makes the heart grow fonder, clearly did not work for these people. The circumstances that forced them to live apart started a cascade of issues that brought them to divorce court. Divorce court is now in session. Uh, Ms. Cole and Mr. Randall, the two of you have been together for eight years, and you're only 24, so you've been together forever. You've been married for uh, a year and a half, but you've been separated this past year. I'm going to start with you, Ms. Cole. Why don't you tell me, after all this time, how did you two end up separating after only a year of marriage? Um, well, we had a big fight um, over arguments that we've been having in the past. And um, I just got tired of it, and I just... Well, what is your... What is the biggest problem as you see it? He's very lazy. He doesn't help me with the, the, with the child. Here we go. Uh, with the baby. Um, he say he does a lot, but he doesn't does, do enough. Okay. What... Um, do, is he working outside the home? Is he bringing in money? Well, we stay in two separate house homes. He stay mm -hmm. with his parents, I stay with mine. But when you were married, did you stay together? Yes, ma'am. Was he working then? Sometimes. Sometimes. Really? Sometimes? Sometimes. 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 We Were you working full-time? Uh, yes, ma'am. No, you wouldn't. Full-time. As a CNA. As a CNA. Yes, ma'am. For okay. like four months. Now, Mr. Okay. Randall, Mr. Randall, obviously you disagree. You say you were working full-time? Is working, that true? I was working temp. You were working temp. Yeah. So you would get one job and job, it would yeah. end in another job. Yes, How long generally would you be out of out of work in between temp jobs? Maybe two to three weeks. Two or three weeks. Do you contend that she was not working full time as a CNA? She wasn't working for long as a CNA. Okay. What, she was what working happened? temp as well. She left because it was a negative environment she didn't like. I left because I was working 24 and 48 hours and I didn't have no help with my child. He so I had to make working. sure she was okay because I don't trust him to watch my daughter. Really? That's why I left. Mr. Randall, I want to talk to you for a moment. Okay. What do you think is the primary reason that this relationship isn't she working out? She is not pulling her weight. <laughs> In what respect? Financially, <laughs> emotionally. Emotionally, how is she failing to pull her weight? We can't even hold a conversation for five seconds. I call her on the phone, it's always what? What you mean, what? I'm calling you to, you know, check on you, see how you're doing. Check so on she you. got an attitude. As, it's yes. what now? It's All every day. Attitude. It's, it's every what day. now? At first it was holding conversation. It's what you now? You haven't held because a conversation hang on, hang on, with me. It's what now? Because we've been married too long and I'm tired of repeating myself every day. You haven't it's held a, a what conversation now? Okay. with now me. You, and, Mr. If you Mr. Randall? If you can't talk and call me about and asking concerns about your daughter, we have nothing to talk about. Okay. Bring her something. Has she Which ate I today? Do. Stop. Has she ate this week? Has she did something this week? Is she sick? He don't, he don't question me about that. He's, so, he's too worried mm -hmm. about what I'm doing Not. and who I'm around. Not. Where am I going? Not. Mr. Randall, let me speak to you momentarily. She contends that you are not sufficiently interested in your daughter's well-being. Why don't you tell me your response to that allegation? I'm always interested in her in her well-being. I call her and ask her, how's the baby, how's the baby, how's my daughter doing? Oh, she's fine, and you we come good. Nice. Ms. Cole? Yeah, I come see her on the weekend because I work two jobs, Monday through Friday. Mm -hmm. And I'm still paying bills, doing stuff for her, doing stuff for you, which I know you're gonna lie and say you don't. <clears throat> well, 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 tell, tell me some you of the things that you're doing for her. Tell me some, let's Anything, them. basically anything that she asks for, she gets. She wants her nails done, fine. You want your hair done, fine. I'll go almost a month without getting my hair cut, looking like a werewolf. Does, does he pay to get your hair and nails done? Come on, love. Sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, mm -hmm. if I ask him, he will sometimes. Now, on, if man. I tell him I would rather do this for my daughter, he'll, if I ask him for something, Please he will bring, he her. will wait for weeks. If I tell him Monday, bring your baby some diapers, I won't see him till Sunday. He still show up empty-handed. Really? Well, let me ask you this, Miss Cole. If you're worried about the amount of money and care that he gives to your daughter, why in the world would you ask him to pay for hair and nails? Well, at the at the same time, it's like I understand that now, because at first it was just like he knew that I was gonna take care of it. 
And now that I'm seeing it and I'm getting older and I'm realizing that I didn't make her by myself. Stop. I didn't make her by myself. And I do stay with my parents that help me do but, the but stuff I, that but, he but needs I don't to under, do. But I don't understand this. If he's willing to pay for hair and nails, I'm quite sure he'd be willing to pay for Pampers. Thank That's you. what I'm saying. It's, it's not you. that much. Let, but ask him, ask but him you about, spend it on hair and nails. But I, everything is taken care of by me. That's why, at the end of the day, by I asked him parents. to do it for me. My parents, my parents, my mom, don't help, she don't help me do nothing. I pay rent in there. She might watch my child while I go to work. I, I pay that. rent I in there. Seen. I buy my daughter everything. He should feel bad. By this past weekend when I came in here, I had a whole bunch of clothes for my daughter. Did he say, here, babe, here's something? Oh, I asked how him for I some milk. Bad. I asked him for some milk. Guess how much money he gave me? Five dollars. It told me to break him something to drink. Mr. Mr. Randall, your response to that? Did that happen? Yeah, it happened. I asked <laughs> <laughs> But this is the, this is the thing. It's funny. This is the thing, because she already know what it is with me. I pay bills. I have a cell phone bill which is over hundred dollars. I have a car. I have car insurance which is over two hundred dollars, almost two eighty. I have a car note that's two twenty, plus her needs and my daughter's needs. Chick, let me ask you this: Do you make decisions with respect to your personal finances about how much note you should pay for a car? or that beautiful watch you got on, or all of that, in, in the context of, I first must support my daughter, and then I can support my lifestyle. Do yeah, you ever, I mean, do you ever take that into consideration I do, when you purchase no. things? He, I no. do, but how can I get back and forth without a car? And oh, my, car is, my car is, con I'm constantly having issues with my car. I'm paying money to get it fixed almost monthly. Mm -hmm. I just paid to get my tags. She doesn't understand that. It's all about what Janisha wants. Uh -huh. If Janisha don't hear what she want to hear or don't get what she wants, oh, so, well, well I don't want to hear. It's not I got you. I got thing. you. Hang on. Hang on. I understand what you're saying. I'm tired of uh, saying the same thing over to him. It's like I'm raising another child. I'm physically and emotionally drained. Divorce isn't easy. If you need help with your breakup, call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. Mr. Randall, you contend that Ms. Cole doesn't act like she's married anymore. What do you mean by that? She wants to go out every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, when, for instance, if I want to spend time with her, she's always last. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't have a problem with her going out, enjoying herself, having a good time. I'm not d contending that she's a bad mother, because she's not. But as far as a wife, <laughs> So hold on. Now, you two are, sep are living in separate houses, but do right. you still consider yourself married, a married couple, or you do you consider does. yourself we're, separated? We're still, that's a piece of paper. We're still legally yeah, married, yeah, but we're separated of, because my, my, I feel that he wants me to obey him, and I took that out of my wedding vows because I'm not going to obey you. Give me some circumstances where you felt that he was trying to make you obey him. Um, like, as far as if he says something and I don't agree with it, I'm, he's my husband. I have to obey him. He grew up old-fashioned. Mm -hmm. I'ma speak my mind. I'ma be independent. I'ma do what I want to do. If you if you were my husband, if you were taking care of me financially, taking care of your family, emotionally, and everything, you wouldn't have a problem with me. How and that's all not? I'm trying to tell him from the beginning. From the did do you believe that she wasn't a good wife in part because you felt that as the head of the home, you should make the decisions and she wasn't going along with that? I don't feel like that. I feel like we should both come together and have a con be able to communicate about the situation, and that's the issue. Communication is how many horrible. Times, how many has, times I'm going to tell him and she has the same the thing over and over? Ms. Cole, I, 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 I want you to, to take a moment, take a breath. You were together eight years. Then you got married, and within like six months, things really went badly. What is behind all of that anger you have for him? What was going on? I just feel like I wasted time. 
Are you I serious? mean, everything that he promised me he was going to do, I thought because we was in the church home, we was doing right, that I was doing the right thing for me and my child. But it ended up not being that. I'm tired of um, saying the same thing over to him. It's like I'm raising another child. I'm physically and emotionally drained. I don't argue with him anymore. I just let him, whatever. He said, I feel like I'm not, I'm not a wife. I've been feeling like that for the last um, two years since we've been married. When did it start to deteriorate? After you got married? Yes, was, was there a change in circumstance? No. It was just, I feel like, to be honest, I felt like after we had our child, it was different. It's just like he cared less instead of caring more. Man. Okay. Mr. Randall, I'm going to ask you the same question. Okay. After eight years together, you get married, you have a baby. What do you contend turned this union into the, to the thing that it is today? Well, she says that I'm old-fashioned, but in reality, she's old-fashioned. She, she wants to be a stay-at-home mom, the way I feel about it, which I don't have an issue. But at the same time, if I'm not... I'm only 24. We right. can't be on the level that her mom, her, her, her parents are and my parents are. They had to work hard to, to get, get to where, where they, they are. are over time. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm at a good company right now. Great benefits, great opportunities, <clears throat> all of that. You can <clears throat> all you want to. But it's, a, but it's a good company. A good company, and but I'm trying to progress you, but, myself. Did, did that desire she had for you to be more of a, a, a traditional husband in the support area, did that happen after the baby? I mean, I'm trying to figure out what changed, because you were together for eight years. That was the, it was, it's, it's been prior. But like he said, I want to be a house mom. I never was a house, I never wanted to be a house mom. I always been the one that, Got my own money. I'm a licensed beautician. It's not about I'm what you say. I'm a licensed beautician. It's about I have what my you CNA do. license. I always keep a job. I have my own business. He never supports me in none of that. Are you serious? Okay, Mr. Mr. Rand, I'm gonna give you a full opportunity to respond. I bring my daughter things without her even asking, and she oh well, thank you, and walk off and have the same stank attitude that she had when she woke up in the morning, but whatever for whatever reason. Do you believe that Jesse is properly supporting their child? Call now to vote, 855-70-DIVORCE. That's 855-70-DIVORCE. You'll receive some exclusive offers. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Divorce Court. Although she hasn't given me any specific instances, she, she, she honestly feels, whether or not this is happening, she honestly feels that she's kind of stranded and you don't have her back. Why do you think she feels that way? What is she missing? That's what I've been trying to figure out for the past two to three years. Because at the end of it all, I've always had her back. I've always defended her, always was here. Mm -hmm. Economically, are you, since you now have a good job, are you uh, constant in your contribution towards the welfare of your child? Yes, I do. And, now, and, and, and when you say constant, what does that mean? Whenever... Whenever there's a need for something, I'm there. She knows, she knows what my number is. She knows how to call me. But the problem is I cannot have a conversation with this girl for five seconds. I'm a woman. Five, a well, with this woman okay. for five seconds because a woman doesn't act like... Okay. Now, Mr. Randall, let's okay. not discuss the qualities of I'm womanhood. Sorry. I don't I think either one of you are quite clear on that. But go ahead. <laughs> but I'm there. She knows I'm there. She knows I'm there. I've been at my job now for... Do you believe she ought to have to call when you know for She doesn't have to call. That's the point. But that's what you just told me. When I asked you whether or not you were constant in your care, for your economic care for your daughter, you replied that she says she can call me whenever she wants and she knows I'm there. That, to me, means that she must call and that your support is not constant. She must ask. No, it's constant. And Huh? My, and my question, so you give her a sum of money every month? 
the thing is, I don't even give her any money anymore. I give her diapers, wipes, milk, whatever she needs. If she asks me, well, can you get my hair? Okay, fine, it's fine, cool. I'll get so it is a request and, and, and response thing. That's what it is, but she doesn't have to ask me. I'll bring my daughter things without her even asking. <laughs> and she'll, oh, well, thank you, and walk off and have the same stank attitude that she had when she woke up in the morning, but oh. whatever, for whatever reason. I always have an attitude. When you, you do have out. an attitude. You have a serious attitude I problem. Do. I you do. do. Yeah, no, you do. Oh, oh no doubt about it. No doubt you about do. it. And, and and let me and let me tell you tell you the one thing I do know about attitude. Attitude almost invariably guarantees that you will not get what you want mm -hmm. from the person with whom you have that attitude. No matter if you're frustrated or whatever, it does not get them to change. Listen. It gets them to dig in their heels. I'm just just putting that out there. In divorce court, people tell me the most intimate details of their lives. Join the conversation and share your experience on our Twitter page at Divorce Court and on our Facebook page. See how fans deal with their own relationships. The discussion can get heated. Don't miss it. Ms. Cole, you're asking for uh, $450 for three months for transitional support mm -hmm. to help you get on your feet. Explain to me why you believe I should award you that sum of money. Because he he, he don't help me, Your Honor. He don't. Are but you working she... currently? Yes, ma'am. Working full time? Yes, ma'am. Okay, how much do you make a month? Um, it's, I just started this job like two weeks ago, so I don't know. Right, right, right. So um, he doesn't, if I ask him, like an uh, example, when I text him and I said I have to be at work, Saturday at 6.30 a.m., I need you to watch your daughter. He didn't text me back. He texted me back at 3 o'clock and said, oh. can I see my daughter? You could have had your daughter the whole time oh my God. if you would have came and got her. He mm -hmm. said he, he, do, he do stuff for her. He you don't. Are, okay. You are natural born for this. He don't. M you, you Mr. Mr. Randall, do, do you recall that incident? Yes. No. You don't recall? Okay. Let me ask you this. How much money do you make a month now? Hmm. A month, probably maybe thirteen hundred a month. Thirteen hundred a month? Yes. You know the hours I work, and that's why I have two jobs. Oh, you, you have know two the jobs. Hours I work. He do, and I don't see no, not two a cent from now on. Okay. Do you, you think? Don't have to see I don't have to see. I, I didn't say a receipt. I said a cent, a red penny. You yes, know you what do. that is? I don't. Yes, Me you or do. my no, 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 no. We're not going to do this anymore. Let, this, this is what I'm going to say. This is what I'm going to say. Whatever failings he has demonstrated, you need to get over them. You need to respond to him in a reasonable fashion because your daughter is going to be as crazy as the two of you make her. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? If it is a constant battle, if it is a constant argument, if there's always some agitation, irritation, attitude, it will always be uncomfortable for your daughter. And I'm sense. saying that mostly to you because I think you have the biggest tood in the room. Wow. Mr. Randall, let me say this to you. <laughs> to the extent you want to be the leader, to the extent you want to be the father and the head, you must lead in attitude as well and, and in calmness. She is angry because she is afraid. She is concerned about her day-to-day -day okay. She's, she's trying to hold it down. She's got the kid, and she doesn't think she has any support. And I believe you can fix a lot of that with some, with not waiting to be asked, but con contributing on the regular all of the time. That will make her feel safer, which will make her less crazy. Given that the amount that you make, I can't give you the 450 a month, but I will give you $200 a month for the next three months to give you some sense of security. And after that, you search your heart and your soul for what you ought to do before she puts you on child support to see if you can make a decision about how much money you're willing to give to the strength and support that holds up your daughter. So there will be $600 in favor of Ms. Cole. It is so ordered. Okay. This case with Janisha and Jesse demonstrated one thing that makes me very upset that when a couple allows their anger for one another to take precedence over the importance and the safety and the comfort and the care of their children. If you are constantly fighting, 
your children don't have a chance at calm. Don't let that happen to you.